Shameless plug. What? Shameless plug, bro. Real quick. You, you, you click the video, shameless plug. Follow. Well, this is not, this is just the site. That's the site. You can get a membership there or, or gear. Anyways, follow all the Instagram, follow the Twitter, Facebook. You can follow that too, but Facebook's kind of dying. Anyways, what's going on, guys? Bradley Martin here. We're doing a Snapchat QA, so you guys are sending me questions. Good thing we have good Wi-Fi in the gym. Yeah. Just remember when we tried to do the last Q&A, it was like all over the place? Oh yeah. Because the Wi-Fi at the old house was, was so shitty. Wi-Fi well, at the new house is really great, but at the gym, it's even more crisp. So we're gonna start. But any questions, so I'm just like random, right? Okay, yeah. Apple Guy 878. Let's okay, it. let's do it. Hey Bradley, can you please tell me about the effects of creatine use? The effects of creatine use gains? Gains? No. You hold water weight, you retain water. So everyone's always like, oh, creatine, oh, it's a steroid, it's bad for Look, creatine is simple, guys. Don't overthink it. Take it or don't take it, okay? It's gonna make you, cre most of the time, creatine monohydrate is gonna make you like hold more water weight, which in turn is gonna help you move around more weight in the weight room because when you're heavier, even if it's not a ton more muscle, right, just having more water weight, your body holding more water within the muscle, outside of the muscle, you're gonna be able to like move around more weight because your body weight is heavier. So I'm not saying like you're gonna add 100 pounds to your lifts, but every little bit of weight can can help because it's, it's it's leverages. Like, so for bicep curls, like if, you're, if your base is sturdier, your body is sturdier, it's heavier, you have more to leverage from for the bicep, for the curl, so you have, you have to do less swinging. So that's just a small, small example, but just don't think so much about it. Take five grams a day, take two grams a day, stay consistent with it because at some point, like your body will like, how do I, because like I'm a scientist and stuff, like I did my research where like re scientific research stuff where you just have a certain amount over time and like the concentrations of creatine like stays at a certain amount in your body and then like over time if you stop it, it will start to lessen, right? So just take it and take it consistently. Um, no, it's not gonna destroy your liver. Um, don't take like 20 grams of it. You don't need to load it. You just start taking it and just keep taking it. And then, you know, if you want to take it off, stop taking it for a while because at, at, at the end of the day, I don't believe anyone should take supplements like forever and ever and ever. I think supplements are super beneficial, super helpful. And there's ones you can take consistent with like fish oils and things like that, um, greens powder, stuff like that, basic stuff. But things that are like performance enhancing, because you gotta understand at the same time, <clears throat> creatine, even though a negligible effect, still affects like your, your liver and shit as a process. Just like uh, aspirin affects your liver and Tylenol affects your liver. And they're both like similar, obviously anti-inflammatory things. But all those things like, uh, painkillers, whatever, all that stuff, pharmaceutical stuff will affect your liver, so, because you're, you're, you're ingesting it, right, and then your body has to process it, so, not taking that stuff forever is, is a good thing. So anyways, let's not, let's, I'm going too long for this. Next I'm one. like, yeah, I'm pretty much Bill Nine right now, I gotta stop Bill. I don't know if I wanna answer that one, Dan Lord 666 Should we try? I don't know about if that. If he's gonna, nah, he's gonna talk. Well, let's give him a shot. All right. How do you get massive biceps? I mean, that's a good question. How do you get massive biceps? Train every day. Every day is arm day. Every day is arm day. Seriously, like, okay guys, everyone's like, seriously, is every day arm day? Is every day really arm day? Yes and no. What that means is most of the time when you're training back, you're hitting your arms. When you're training chest, you're hitting your arms because you're benching, right? When you're training um, arms, you're hitting your arms. When you're training legs, you should just be hitting, no, no. When you train, so what I would do in the days like that where I'm not directly hitting my arms, where even though I'm like, if I'm squatting, like stability and stuff, not really hitting your arms, I would, and this is serious, and I haven't done it for the last few weeks because I hurt myself, so I've been training like, kind of like, you know, it's been kind of eh, for lack of a better word. Um, but I would do like two exercises at the end of any workout. Like if it was legs, I'd hit like two different like bicep exercises, you know, four sets, three sets, and that'd be it. That would like finish my workout. So, is everyday arm day? Yes. Is everyday like a full arm workout? No. You know what I'm saying? But when it's arm day, it's a long day. That's a long workout. That's the best workout of all week. Just arms, arms, arms. Sometimes it's do just biceps. Try it, it'll kill you. Kill you, not kill you, but kill the arms. Anyways, <clears throat> now we're getting all the videos. This is popping. Who's better at basketball? Is it you or is it Kevin? Who's better at basketball? Is it you? Kevin Durant? Kevin, KD. Oh. KD's better at basketball. Kevin Durant? KD, I mean, I mean. What about Kevin Hart? <clears throat> I think Kevin Hart's pretty actually good. I think he's good at basketball. What about Kevin Lopez? Kevin Lopez, I don't know who that is. Oh. Kevin Lowe and me, uh, I'm for sure, uh, since it's on camera, I'm better than Kevin. So, yeah. Sounds good, bro. I can't hear him. Do you want to compete again, bro? Oh. Uh, no. I don't like that industry. Not a fan. Not a fan. And I'll tell you why real quick, just to keep it real brief. 
It's a popularity sport. Oh, it's we not a, make a separate video on that next time. Yeah, but I'm gonna give them a little bit right now. You okay. know why not? Because they're here in the video. You guys are squad. Because if you listen to me ramble about creatine for fucking four minutes, and you're you, at this point, you probably like and care what I have to say. Um, and most people would have been like, oh fuck this guy. I want to see girls' butts and stuff. Anyways, just go to like you know porn up. But anyways, the competition no, industry. Well, stay here, but like if you want to just see that, then why are you even on YouTube? Open up a new tab. Yeah, it's just, you know, control T, it's a new tab, keep yeah. my video playing. Anyways, that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. That is actually really weird. Mute Don't the audio. Mute my audio, but let the video play because YouTube hates us. Anyways, um, that industry is uh, it's a popularity sport. It's not about the best person. So it's like, because I remember at one point when I was not the guy, I was not the guy who was popular, and uh, they treated me like I was meh. Uh. It was like this. They was like, oh yeah, yeah, whatever. And then I, and then I became more popular. They're like, yeah, come do my show. Yeah, come do my show. Come do my show. You win. And then I did it, and I won. And I was like, this feels bad. And it's all just like, who are you helping, and how are you helping all the heads of these like, this community and these, these people who got gyms out on the East Coast, and it might be called something, anything. I'm not gonna. I don't want to say it because people get all butt hurt in this industry and they start crying and whining about their life. But point is, there's a lot of people who are involved in this industry, competition industry, who. It's all about what can they get from it and the people who are in charge, and this is kind of how life is in general, which kind of sucks sometimes, but it's the reality, just so understand that. They're in charge, damn, someone burnt rubber. They're in charge, so they have the power, right? So it's in their power since it's a subjective sport because it's not like, oh, you lift 500 pounds or you didn't. Yeah. It's, oh, but today, you know, we were looking for the stage presence, stage presence was a little better, work on your stage presence, and like his, uh, you know, his like four quarter turn was a little bit like, you know, you gotta work on that walk and when you come in. And so there's all this other stuff that like they can say so that they don't have to actually be like, oh, that guy was better than that guy, period. Because what they have, they have someone they want to win because someone who's more popular who could add more to the sport and may basically make them more popular and make them more money. That's what it is, okay? So if that's the case, they want that guy to win versus the other guy who might actually look better than that guy because that guy's not giving enough to the whole, their whole little system that they consider to be, you know, I mean, the not even consider, it's their business. The, the ecosystem of bodybuilding. The ecosystem of bodybuilding, it's, it's, uh, it's bullshit. So that's how I feel about it. Do I like it? That's why I don't compete because I don't want to lend to something that I feel is bullshit. And the best person cannot walk on the stage and win every time because the best person might not be the most popular person on Instagram because they're not as good at social media, period. If you felt like the best person would win every time and it was totally legit. Absolutely, you, if, would, if it was like, it? <coughs> absolutely. Yeah. If I felt like the best person would win every time, like if it was just like legit scoring like, his back, his this, his that, his that was all better. Obviously, we got 10 people, we all agreed like it was better. Because that's what they do. Like, they'll put people that they want to win next to people who aren't as good as those people. Yeah. And the people who are really good, they'll put them in the back. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, you was too hard. Come back next year. Try and, you know, basically suck all the judges' dicks so that you can get more, like, love and do all this other stuff. But actually, really, just get now, it's like, back then, four or five, actually, six years ago, it was suck all the dicks. Now it's like, do you have followers on the gram? That's all it is now. So if you got followers, you're in there, you're like swimwear. So. That's honest opinion, real stuff. So they'll probably get all butthurt about this. Uh, hopefully, little blocks. Anyways, um, yeah. So Maybe I should do it. it, right? What's that? Okay. I have to say it because it's true, and they all know it's true, and that's the reality. So anyone wants to say it's not true, y'all know it's true. Because I was in the industry, and like even people in the industry all knew it was true. And you know what they called it? You gotta pay your dues. Yeah, yeah. Pay your dues. What the fuck? Pay your dues. This is a competition. The person who's the best should win. Yeah. Period. There's no such thing as paying dues. That's a way for them to be like, yo, keep coming and keep paying and keep doing this and then baloney. Anyways, and they raise the price every every single year is getting more. It's crazy. It's bullshit. Damn, I went on a rant. I should just put that in a separate video. Nah. I don't even care. Let's keep going. Sorry. Didn't mean to hit you guys. Hit him with the uppercut. Look, Brad, it's already night. I'm real simple question. Uh, does working out too young stunt your growth and what's the best way to work out? Look, Brad, it's already Does working out too young stunt your growth and what's the best way to work out? Oh, best way to work out is hard, efficiently. Yeah. And does working out young stunt your growth? No, uh, I, I honestly I don't think so. I, I think like if you're super young and you're doing a bunch of loaded like stuff, you know, on your pressure on your spine, then maybe. Yeah. Because you're still growing, your growth plates and stuff are like still running like running and like doing running, push-ups push -ups and, and like not like heavy yeah. spinal loading. I mean, I'm really saying no. If anything, it, should, it would help. Yeah. But this things, this thing aren't putting tons of pressure on your spine. So I'm not again, I'm not a like cardio scientificologist, so I can't always tell you the correct things. It's funny because people who watch the video for the first time is like, just by what you said, it's like this guy's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Whatever. Every night, I was carrying you and over. This is my boy right here. Soldiers 
trash. Bro, he's really trying to do me out like that on this. Yo, he's actually really good. Game like, He's a really good gamer. I play with him. It's true. Shout out to my boy. I'll be. I'm back on though. Game channel. Oh yeah. If you want to subscribe to the game channel, click the link below. It'll be the first link. Remember to put it in. No, I'll put it. In. I'll put All it. In. No worries. It's a. It's Fire Squad. You already know. Yo, Brad. What's up? So I want to ask you. What inspired you to do what you're doing today? And who was your biggest inspiration? Oh, that's great. Really cool question. Good question, man. So what inspired me to do what I'm doing today? That's really hard to say like one thing inspired me to do it. It's been a whole course of events throughout my life. And just like I did a video earlier today and I was kind of talking a little bit about this. It comes down to like the why. Like, But the why is like something that happens when you're young and then like as you kind of progress throughout life and like learn and go through different experiences and meet different people and like go through different ups and downs, it kind of like changes along the way. So where I'm at now, like what's inspired me like to push forward now, to go harder now. Okay. All right. <coughs> it's you guys. Because, and I tell everyone when they come into this gym and I see them, they're wearing the gear, they're wearing this, they're wearing this, whatever. They're wearing the BM Fit stuff, they're wearing this. This is, oh, shameless plug real quick. This is dropping Friday. Today is what? Today what? is Thursday. Thursday. This is dropping tomorrow. 12. Well, no, today is Wednesday, but today with this video is Thursday. Thursday, yeah. So tomorrow, this is be out. Okay. 12, yeah, if you guys want it. You, that link's also under the uh, subscription for. Uh, subscription that doesn't mean anything the, the channel for the gaming anyways though so this is the, basically what I'm saying is this everyone who comes in here I see it and they, I talk like I hear the craziest stories people are like yo this got me through this I was gonna do this to myself and I didn't because I found your videos I did this and I the, the way that you said something helped me and for whatever that's worth I, I I'm grateful but the reason why I have everything that I have the reason why we have this gym why we have this gym is because of you guys because of this because of you guys supporting it like, so my motivation has changed drastically. The things that makes me drive and go harder and go faster and go better and try and be stronger is you guys, because if without you guys, this wouldn't exist. Yes, I did, I put in the work, I laid the groundwork and I, I helped set up teams and people and like Kevin and all these other people who helped make this happen every single day. But without your guys' support, it wouldn't mean shit. So it's like, yo, that's, like this is our gym, right? So the motivation has become, what can I do more to help you guys be better because in, in giving, and I've noticed just the more in giving and giving, you get back. And you guys, you say you like these kind of videos where you talk about life and things like that. And I like to talk about that stuff because that's just me. I used to be that guy where I would sit in after like workouts with my buddy Brandon, who now he, 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 we, we, he helps me operate this gym. Like this is a dream of mine, a dream of ours. We used to sit out and it was just me and him with no cameras or nothing, sit out in, in the parking lot after workouts, late night workouts, just talk about life. So I've always kind of been that guy, and the fact that people are like, oh, that's cool and it helps me, it blows my mind. It just makes me, I just want to be able to be better for myself, for those around me, for Kevin, and for you guys, and for everyone else in my life that is just dope and is supporting. Like, it, so my motivation is different. That's what keeps me going now. The other question, what was the other part of the question? I don't want to chop it up. It's like, what keeps you motivated? And then... Question, would you rather have fingers as toes or toes as fingers? So I had to throw it in there because it just came up, and I didn't want to lose it. We'll answer that in a sec. But the other question was part of his question, dang it. I forgot. I mean, you answered it pretty good. Is that sufficient? Yeah. Okay, so would I rather have fingers of toes or toes as fingers? Honestly. What do you think? <clears throat> fingers as toes. Fingers as toes. Have a good one. Squat out here. We out here. Really out here. Really. Don't show the license plate, bro. What are you trying to get them caught up? God, yo, chill. Okay. Um. Uh, fingers is toast. Yeah? Yeah, because then you can like, you know, grab more stuff. Like if you needed something over there, you can grab it. Be a monkey. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Anyways, here. You're the man. Savage. <laughs> Savage. Thank you, Ross, with two S's and one C. Why Kevin always out angling? Out angling? Because Kevin needs out angle me in order to be successful. Successful what? Uh, at, at out angling. At life. So, Brad, was there ever a time when, like, you thought, man, my goals aren't attainable, and, like, how'd you get over it? Oh, my God. So was, real. Not for you, though. I don't think. Not so. where I wasn't, like, they're not attainable, but for sure moments when I was, like, fuck, this is really difficult, or, like, it's going the opposite direction of where I want it to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But never was I, like, nah, there's no way it's gonna happen. I've always been really stubborn when it comes to that. I've always been, like, Nah, like if I think I can do it, I'm gonna do it. I may like smash my face a hundred times before I get there, but I'm gonna show up 
with the W with a smash face. So I wouldn't say I never like I never got like oh I was no good, but it's more like damn this is not going the way that I planned it. I for sure have felt like that many times in my life where like you would do something or I would do something and I felt like I did it and I had this certain intention and it was accepted like a completely different way and that whole situation is just fucked. And it's like damn that's not what I wanted, but that's what happened and you have to just keep going. So. For sure, I was never like, no, it's not gonna happen because I've learned in my life that you have to be stubborn about your goals. You have to be like, this is what I'm gonna do and it's gonna work. And whether or not it works right away the first time you try, as long as you're just ready to keep going like, I'm still gonna do it, it fucked up. I'm still gonna do it, it fucked up. I'm still gonna do it. You have to do that. That's the only way to win. That's the only way to win forever and ever and ever. Remember that, it's never gonna change. Hey Bradley, bro, did you ever have any doubts about your gym before it got all finished, man? Man, we got we just, we all know we just we just answered that pretty much. Yeah. Dang, we're in there. My question is, are you ever coming to New York? And if you're not coming anytime soon, are you at Zoo every day? Because I'm just gonna have to fly to California, come to your gym, and meet you. Damn. Yes, I'm here every day, ten and two. Don't tell anybody else. Okay. I'm here, I'm here yeah. every day. Seriously, me and Kevin are here every day. Like we really do this. We re Kev, I, should I put you out there like that, bro? I can't. Should I tell him you're here or not? Nah? I'm in here a lot, dude. You're here a lot. You're probably more than no, nah, more than me. No. Same, but you actually work. It seems like you've worked out more than me. I work out yeah. here a lot, dude. But I got injured. I probably got. I probably overtrain here. <laughs> it's fun though. I definitely overtrain. But but we're here most of the times, ten to two, filming like content for you guys. So that's what we're doing. Just so prepare you to have too much fun, guys. Yeah, it's fun. It's like it's really like I look really look forward to coming here. So if you guys are here during the week, during the week doesn't matter. It's always popping. Could you? Yeah, let's show them really quick. Oh yeah, let's, let's show them. Yeah, like random, randomly. Yeah, yeah. This is just a random day. Yeah. Random. My face is so bad. Look what I got here. More future pops us, bro. Okay. Yo, Brad, when are you gonna get smacked in Call of Duty? I'm not. That's the answer. I'm not. Gaming channel. But yeah, let's keep going. One more. Let's get two more. Two more. What do you think is the most important thing for an individual to do when they're chasing their dreams? Never quit. Never quit. Never ever quit. Like I said earlier a minute ago, that's all you really have to do. Know that it's just going to be difficult. Know that it's going to be hard. Know it's not going to work the first time. Get okay with that. Get okay with the fact of that. And then keep going. Once you figure that out and you're like, this is not going to work, work the first time I do it and accept it, you'll be good. You'll be good because you're just going to keep going. And if you don't really want something, the truth is you're going to find out because you're going to go and you're going to be like, I don't want it anymore. You're not going to do it. Yeah. That's when you know it's not really what you want to do. So yeah, true. very important. See you, Tina. Okay, I wish you would no. Bye, Tina. She never leaves. Yeah, she, she loves the gym, too. She does, dude. Hold on. He did some weird stuff. We got to play it again. Hold on. Yo, Bradley, I just want to ask one question. Is Kevin gay? Definitely not. Why do you do Kevin like that? Definitely not. Why do you like that? By, by gay mean happy or? Happy, bro. I'm always happy. Kevin's happy. I'm a happy dude. He's happy. All right, that's last Yo, question. Bradley. What's your 40 yard dash time? Oh, because he must have saw Kevin's video. Kevin front on the, what's that? Fit socks. We got socks. What oh, you, you mean? Do? Oh, I'm sorry. Damn, what you doing like that? Bradley. She don't follow me. She don't, you really don't follow me? No. Oh, it's okay. I love you anyways. She, you know, I don't follow you either. Because you, you unfollowed me. Yeah, 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 I did. <laughs> and then she was like, why'd you unfollow me? And I was like, I don't care. You guys remember that old Unforgivable thing? That was like, that was like the first was famous viral. thing on the internet. That was Facebook viral. You remember that old for Unforgivable thing? Like, chicken and some waffle fries. You remember that? You remember that? The internet probably remembers that. The internet never forgets. You, what did they got to Google? Unforgivable? Yeah, Unforgivable. So YouTube. funny. Oh my God. Okay, let's do one more. What's up, Brad? Uh, I don't got no question. Oh, wait, hold on. Shit. Oh, shit, hold on. Advice, what should they do? How should they get started? Just start. Just start. Yeah, just start. We're getting a better question than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. don't think about starting. Like, how do yeah. I get started? Just like start. Just go. And then like fuck up and then keep keep going. Like people get all this. How do I do it this way? Like you don't. You just do it. It's not perfect. Yeah. What the hell? They hit me with an ad. What the fuck is that? Is that? Alrighty, so Bradley, man. Chest and drive. I'm trying to do something crazy. Alright, I'm trying something new. What should I do? 
Come on, bro. That's not a good question. That's not gonna end our video. Go do we'll push-ups with a hundred girls. Well, well, you can't. That's not realistic. Tell him to do chest uh, and arms. Tell him to do. Try every exercise, range of motion, like ten seconds. Yeah. Like, like this, like one, two, like heart, like your weight. All right, ten seconds. Like ten seconds down, ten seconds up. Try that. You'll okay, you'll you'll be horrible. You'll cry. You'll be like, I hate Bradley Martin. I hate that guy. I hate him. Blankets. I hate him. Started out one year ago, 265. I'm down to 225, trying to get shredded. Nice. Yo. Keep losing weight. What do you mean? Yeah. You're doing it, bro. Like yeah, if it's it. if it stops, like change something up and keep going. Work a little bit harder. I mean, you've already kind of got what it what what it took. You just got to keep going. Like people, I, people always try to figure out some like other sh other stuff. Like there's some magic you know direction there's not just keep doing it like find some my best advice is find something that you're that makes you happy that you can stick with in the gym that you enjoy that makes you want to come back that you're like this is fun i enjoy this and then tighten your diet up more and then keep going and you'll lose that weight let's get it i want to i just want a really good one i want like a super good one. not that all those were not good but i want like a like a like a i want like a banger come on come on help me out help me out we'll get like a sleeper down here is this a girl maybe Besides that, what's your favorite body point to work out? She, we already answered. She talked about come here. Um, yeah, shoot. I don't know. I'm so in love with hitting arms. I think then if I had to pick another body part, I mean, classic chest, you know, because you get an arm pump. Uh, this is good. Why do you lift? Like, what is your purpose? Why do you lift? Hey, that's interesting. Well, it all started 28 years ago <laughs> when I was a sperm. So before, so 29 years ago. And uh, I just knew from that moment that I was destined to live. No, man, I don't, I just love this. I don't know, I enjoy it. It's a stress reliever, I feel good. Like, um, it was always something for me, it was something that was just that. It was relieving stress because I had certain things in my life, certain things I felt, certain things I experienced. And it felt good every time I got out of the gym. I, when I was in it, I was able to escape and feel like, oh, I'm lost from, the, the noise, the nonsense, the stuff that bothered me, the stuff that hurt my feelings, whatever it was. I, when I was in here and I was doing this, that's all I could focus on. Because I'm one of the kind of, I know I'm the kind of person where <clears throat> I'm very good at doing one thing, but terrible at doing five things. So when I was doing this, everything else just, I could, it could fade away. So that's what I was, and that's why yeah, I love it. Got, got, got good at doing I got a damn gym, man. I got good at doing it, because I did it every day, twice a day, hours a day. Like, it, it was a relief. And now it's just like, now it's a damn gift, so. I love you guys. I'm out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, you gotta hit the bell, all that good stuff too. This is YouTube now. You going in, bro? It's you got lit. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, bro. I don't know what I'm gonna. Just kidding. Just kidding. It's all good. I love you guys. Um, I'm out. Also, one more thing. Make sure tomorrow, pull up, pull up. By pull up, I mean click the link and then go get the tank top. Yeah. I'm out. Wait, one more thing. You still filming? Yeah. Um, what's the first challenge me and Kevin are gonna do? If you made it this far, also comment what the first challenge. If you made it this far, you really you seriously eating push-ups, running, lifting. Push-ups, running, eat. Not running. Maybe like a run? like a ten-yard run. Okay. That's like a, a light jog, bro. Like a light jog. Bro. Anyways, what challenge? Running. Eat, run, Picking running, girls. Eating. You can't do that, bro. Don't 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 overstretch yourself. Eating. Uh, like CrossFit, obviously, like. Whatever, what do you want to see us challenge each other at? Comment below, let us know, we'll do it. I love you guys, thank you, I'm out.